The reload bug. Is it fixed? Yes. At least, from what I can tell. I've heard quite a few creators in the space mention that they haven't run into the bug on the test servers, but as far as I know, none of them have explicitly tested to see if it's fixed. And to that I say good. That's my niche. Mine. I hopped on the test servers and ran through the reproduction process on multiple weapons, making sure to split my testing across both the US East and European servers. I wanted to see if the patch worked even with higher ping, as Hunt's general manager David Fifield stated during Crytek's developer update that the reload bug has its roots in both game code and latency issues. And as far as I can tell, the reload bug is no longer a looming presence of empty chambers and failed clutches. Nice even when playing on servers that aren't local. Provided update 1.12 is deployed without issue, the reload keybind will no longer include a question mark. Oh, you, you thought we were done? So did I. As I prepared for the export and impending Premiere Pro crash, I got a notification. Update 1.12 has been delayed, with the dev team citing several issues needing resolution as responsible. This delay is, in my personal opinion, the correct move for Crytek. In the past, problems with updates found on the test servers were oftentimes left unresolved, seemingly to maintain a set release schedule. This led to long-standing bugs, as well as some distrust and frustration from the community. I'm making assumptions here, but it sounds like the higher ups at Crytek are giving the dev team some extra room now to polish their work. With all of the major changes arriving both in this update and in the rest of 2023, I sincerely hope this approach continues. We have more than enough people still haunted by the memory of the Lamatt catastrophe. 